guys, I just got my Erin Condren 2017-2018 um, planner and I wanted to share with you, um, I know that there are other um, unboxings out there, but I think that that's really interesting how different people perceive um, the Erin Condren planner. I will have to be honest, I wasn't going to get it. Um, I didn't use my Erin Condren planner a lot last year. I really wanted that there was like more note pages, so I was thinking about getting it at this uh, in January and then I saw the new one and I was like oh my gosh I just have to have it so I ended up getting it and I want to share with you guys so if you've never got an Erin Condren um, box I do have a $10 code down below um, so this is how it comes and it comes beautifully packaged like I have to give them that like their stuff is always beautifully packaged so um, this is just a super cute um, thing for our presents and then being kind never goes out of style. And then this is just a note card, um, not a note card, a postcard that you can send to somebody. So then it has a nice bubble wrap. And then I um, ordered first, so I got a couple of other freebies in there, but we'll get to those later. I'll go ahead and get to the planner. Well, I guess I can get to it now. So, um, because I got the, one of the first, um, when, when they first started selling them, I got this notebook for free and this is what it looks like. And actually I have the pink one, so it has blue pages on the back and then it's just a really pretty notebook. So, um, just very, in, very Erin Condren-y. Oh, look. And there's a coupon in there. Awesome. Um, so, but I really like this like foiling back here in the back and I think it's in the front too. So the best way to get things done is to begin. So really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I have the pink one because it came in my easy surprise box. So now I have two of these and I still don't know what I want to use it for, but I'm sure I will find something. Um, this was another freebie. These stickers so I got these and they have foiling on, on them. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the Erin Condren stickers um, or any of the other really accessories. They, um, the ones I got last year just didn't, I don't know, they just didn't stick as well. Like even when I get these in the surprise boxes, I usually I don't use them much because I don't feel like they match up really, they didn't match up really well with the horizontal. So maybe in the vertical, I'd like it better. But I decided not to get anything um, super extra from her this year because I just wasn't super pleased with the quality of everything last year. So, okay. Then you also get this, everybody will get this like freebie pouch. And um, last year they had a sampler of different sticker books in there. This year they don't have that. They have these like happy birthday and enjoy, um, sticker sheets. Um, these are really pretty and I like them. I just don't know if I'll ever use them. So then they have these compliment cards. So, um, you make such a difference. I believe in you and good vibes only. And then you can write something on there. So what's not going to show up really well in the video, because this didn't show up in any of the other videos that I watched. Um, these colors are are really really vibrant and if um if you follow me on my stamping up stuff um this is a dapper denim color this is an emerald envy and then this is a peekaboo peach color so this is our 2016 2017 in color so i really love love the colors because they remind me so much of stamping up and then you get this little thing in here so you can attach the pouch um, last year I kind of got right out of the pouch in the middle of the year because I wasn't really using it. Um, and it was so thick anyways because I had the 18 month. Um, but this year I might go back to using it because I did decide to go with the 12 months. Um, that way I don't have all the extra paper. Then you do have a ruler. It has a little blue film on it, but, um, you can remove the plastic covering. And so this is the quote that I ended up getting. I haven't seen any videos that has this quote on it yet. Um, but it says you are entirely up to you. And I just, the quote's a little bit weird to me, but I, I like it. Like I had to read it a couple of times. Um, but you just kind of like it. This is going to be another like 
transitional year because of my work is changing again. So I thought this was just going to be a really good one. I like how there's so much water coloring and different water coloring through it. Um, so then let's go ahead and get started. The, um, the page over here is just like last year. It has lined. You can use the wet markers. I didn't ever use them because they stained it too much for me last year. Um, so I just never use it. And then this first part, this vellum part is the, um, this new pattern that they have. And I've just forgot the name of it, but I really like it. So, um, and then this part, you can put your name in here. And then this is the neutral version. And I did get the colorful version. I just like color, even though I've been using a lot more stickers, I like the colorful version just better. Um, so again, in easy fashion, it has these really two pretty note pages. If you follow an Air, if you follow Erin Condren, you know that she has changed paper suppliers, and these are really thick paper. Um, I don't have my my inkwell press here, but it might be a little bit thicker than the inkwell press, but a really nice paper. And I just spotted my Erin Condren from last year. Thought it was somewhere else. So I can kind of give you a side by side too of the differences on some of it, but definitely between last year and this year, the paper is definitely thicker. Um, some of the differences with like the beginning of here is last year's colorful version was a lot more color as you can see this is a lot more simplified I don't use this much um between the difference of this I like the cleaner look of this but this one was really pretty too so and then they did change this a lot um so they made this a lot more with the circles and different things you can see from last year this is how it looked last year so just one big page and then has kind of like the water coloring through the side with of course the quote and then this year it has the the petals through it so again really pretty this is a really pretty dapper denim night of navy color using my stamping up colors so just really pretty um and I always really love the quotes. And again, this is very simplified. Um, just some color up here. And I absolutely love this. Like this is, I really hate that I love this so much because one of my favorite sticker shops, um, Sweet Kawaii, she has the best, like super cute um, headers and stuff for her shop. So like, but I'm not gonna wanna change it. So this is kind of, again, a comparison from last year so just not as vibrant these are a lot more deeper richer colors Erin Condren also got rid of like this gold here on the side they just have this um flag I wish they would get rid of the flag too um but now it's just kind of a little bit more simplified so very very pretty then I did the um the vertical, I did change this up. I have been using the horizontal and I used to love the horizontal and I loved how this looked. I love the water coloring. The water coloring never bothered me. Um, even if the water coloring came kind of down, like I just felt like it was really pretty throughout the pages. So that never bothered me. Um, I just, I don't, didn't use it much. So, um, I don't know. I just always felt like they were super messy. So I'm, I'm switching sides. I'm going to the vertical. I do love how they have the, the petals over here on the side. And again, guys, I'm sorry. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I've heard it so many times. Um, I do know I've seen pictures that the, the neutral version does not, the, the boxes are a little bit different. So if that's going to bother you, I'd still get the colorful, um, the extra colors throughout here they don't really bother me. So that's a personal preference. The other thing that they got rid of is they got rid of this. You see this box is now just open. They got rid of this thankful thought over here, which is good because that box drove me nuts. Um, so yeah, just really pretty colors. Like again, this is the colorful version. And then 
going to kind of flip through. All the months are the same. They just have different colors to them. So then the October and then my birthday's in November. So I always want that November has a really pretty one. So follow your bliss. I love this. This is really pretty. It's a nice blue color. So I'm really excited about that. Um, then we have this green for December. I like this. I like that it's kind of like, you know, it's still Christmassy without being like Christmas. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's kind of like bright still and springy. And then this like icy blue is great for the new year. February, they went with like the red and the pink. Um, oh, I like that quote. You are a diamond. Nothing can break you. And then March, I really do like when the planners kind of go along with the season. It just, like, makes me feel better. Um, then we have purple for April. And then May. And then June. And then, again, we're ending in July. And then July is a little bit... Yeah, July is a little bit interesting if you do the... Um, 12 months because it just it just ends so you have the like one last page and then you have note pages um so the thing about the note pages and why i really wanted to change from the 18 months is because i really wanted more note pages and i still didn't get that but we have a couple of line note pages so you have three of those you have three of the dot grid things and then you have these really pretty coloring pages which are like the coloring pages so that was great. And then you have a year at a glance for next year. So that is all really cool. It's really similar to last year's, but again, like I really wanted more note pages. So that's probably the only frustrating thing to me is that, um, there was less note pages. So, um, and then, then the end is really pretty. They have, the stickers are definitely improved. They have um, lots of foiling on them, which is really pretty. They have these stickers, which I think are great. And I really like the designer who did this. Um, so they have 12 of these and they all are color coordinated with the months. So if you'll notice, they have like that orange one or like this, yeah, we'll call it orange, orange yellow. And then they have that orange yellow. So for August. So really great. I like, I like that it's foiled. I think they did a fabulous job on these. Then they just have some kind of like note ones again, some of these. And then the perpetual calendar is really pretty. I use these for um, birthdays and anniversaries and kind of just keep filling them out. I love the pockets. The pockets are so much prettier on this one. I don't think I like the mid-century circles from last year much. I think that's probably really what was my problem. Um, <clears throat> but I just think so. this is last year's over here and then this is new, this year's. So mid-century circles are definitely prettier in my opinion. Sorry. The petals, the painted petals are definitely prettier than I feel like the mid-century circles. Um, but again, that's just my personal opinion. And then I wanted to kind of show you guys, um, well, maybe I don't have them. Oh, I do. So these are the sticky notes from last year and they drove me nuts and that's why I didn't order them, but they would like, you can see here, they didn't come off. They don't come off usually clean. So I like lose half of it and then they don't stick really well. So for me, that's junk. So I like the Inkwell Press ones. Um, but again, it's all just personal preference. Last year I got a lot of extra things. I do really like the EC Surprise boxes because I feel like I get really great things and I get to try new things. Um, so I just decided for me this year, I was going to keep doing the Erin Condren Surprise boxes. But that is the EC Planner for 2017, 2018. Again, I really like this one. I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, my only thing that I didn't like so much about it is that there wasn't as many note pages. Um, but again, that's kind of just a personal preference on things. So 
overall a really beautiful planner. I liked a lot more of the covers this year. Um, I think they just did a little bit better job um, kind of bringing some things together, at least for the colorful version. So I hope you guys will give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, make sure to subscribe and make sure to keep following me. I will be doing plan with me's again in my Erin Condren here soon whenever it starts again. Bye guys.